Cameron McKay, better known as Fitz, is an Australian YouTuber and used to be an icon in the gaming community. But how did he get there and where is he now? In this video, I'll be going over his rapid growth and decline on YouTube to see why and how it happened. Fitz was a person who loves music, making music and performing. This would spark the idea to create a YouTube channel to make videos around his passions and so he did. Fitz would create his channel on the 28th of January 2014 and he would upload his first ever video on the 21st of January 2015 titled Freestyle Rapping in DayZ. The video is pretty self-explanatory. He would freestyle rap to people in DayZ for no apparent reason. My name is Fitz, I've been freestyling since 96. However, despite how random the video idea was, it would turn out to be quite a hit as it sits at 204,000 views as of right now. What is clear in those early videos is that he is quick at improvising and that will prove very useful and entertaining in the future as you will see. Not long after, he would upload his first CSGO video titled CSGO Dramatic Speech Cheeky Nandos and that would be the start of his CSGO content. He would upload various CSGO videos that got around 100k views. But after uploading his best CSGO surfer in the world video, almost every CSGO video would reach 1 million views or more. This was his big breakthrough and is the Fitz content that we know and love today. His quick and witty humor matched with the unique joke delivery and comedy style made him very likable and funny. I'm against piracy. Oh yeah? Mm. I'm against feminism. I'm against any other race that isn't white. I'm uh I'm just here for the AA meeting. <laughs> like I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> On the 18th of September 2017, Fitz would upload his face reveal and QA video as a 1 million subscriber special. As you can imagine, hitting 1 million subs in two years is insane, but that was only the beginning. Been meaning to make this video for a really long time i actually meant to do a kind of face reveal thing for 500k but right after we hit that milestone the channel just completely exploded even more and i figured uh, i might as well just wait for a million um but we're here now so this is my face if you follow me on twitter or snapchat or twitch links down below and you'll already know what i look like um but for those of you who don't which i imagine is like 80 to 90 percent of you this is my face i hope you're not too disappointed even though his upload schedule worsened, his videos were still hits, getting over 10 million views on PUBG, CSGO and Fortnite videos. He would often play CSGO with his friend group that would later form the Misfits, including John on the Radio, McCreamy aka Ainsley, Zuckles, Swagger Souls and I Notorious. They would go on to create the Misfits channel and the Misfits podcast, as well as collabing with other groups such as Lunch Club, as Fitz and Carson were close friends. This insane growth would lead him to get even more subscribers and on the 28th of January 2018 he would create his second channel called Also Fitz where he would upload the jokes and clips he felt weren't good enough for the main channel. That channel would instantly blow up, not having a single video with less than 1 million views and having a better upload schedule than the main one. Hey guys, this video is trash. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not trash, but it's definitely not up to my usual standards. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys won't even notice a difference. The point is, as most of you guys hopefully know, the reason I don't upload very often is because I'm very picky about the jokes I use, which means I have a ton of leftover footage and deleted scenes that didn't make it into my videos. Just look at my premiere timeline. These are the jokes I use, and these are the jokes I didn't think were good enough. And it kind of sucks that all these clips are just sitting on my timeline and never see the light of day, which is why I've started a second channel, right? It's called Also Fits, and it's linked at the top of the description below. If you want to see more of me and my friends, if you want to see outtakes and deleted scenes, then click the link and subscribe today. Anyway, thanks guys. Hope you enjoy these leftover moments. But only four years after creating the channel, the uploading would stop. This wasn't because he gave up on his second channel. Rather, he gave up on YouTube. As you know, Fitz and his group are known for making edgy jokes and having dark humor. This is a woman watching no. those through the Counter-Strike map, trying to figure out her lefts from right. See, they struggle very differently. Automatically gravitates towards the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On the scene, correspondent, retarded Weasley. Uh, ginger. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, did you just say I'm ginger, Ron? Have you fucking my sister? <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, he would often find himself mixed in a lot of drama. People would try to cancel him on a daily basis, but his fans simply don't care because they like him for that type of humor and they're watching him because of it. So the cancel culture never really affected him, but drama did. As I'm sure everyone knows, the Call Me Carson and Kate Arena drama that happened two years ago had Fitz involved in it, and even though it didn't seem to affect him much at the time, it piled on. I'm not saying that alone made him tired of YouTube, but I am speculating that it might have played a role in him being fed up with constantly being in the middle of something and someone constantly being angry at him about something. <laughs> hey Fitz, what you been up to, buddy? <laughs> oh, you know, uh, great. That's just perfect. Big time Twitter celebrity Jay Schlatt's wondering what I've been up to, buddy. Well, laugh it up. So I haven't uploaded in over a year. So I quit at the peak of my success. So I found myself turning into a person I didn't like and decided to distance myself from the internet because I found the attention and pressure unbearable. Oh, big deal. You know what? For your information, I've been doing some pretty cool things this year. I actually wrote them down. Number one, working on my mental health. Nothing. <laughs> Just don't upload. Man, yeah. Imagine that. Are you, are you, have you been working on anything recently? Yeah, I mean, we've been recording some VR. I just cut up all that footage today. Actually, it's pretty funny. Um, Fuck yeah! But you know, I'm not really too. I'm not really too worried, uh, to be honest with you. Yeah, Fitz um, is very wealthy. He doesn't give a fuck. I'm not. I'm not too worried, and I also just don't <laughs> think that I care enough about the attention to really care. You know, like I don't. I don't really get off on it that much. You know, I'm just kind of chilling. So I don't know. I'll, I'll mm. come out with something soon enough. We'll see what happens. Fuck, just fuck around with it. So yeah. He has enough money to never work again, and if he lost passion for video making, he'll just have to accept it. It's not like he completely retired from the internet. He can still be found on the Misfits channel and podcast with the other members, similar to what happened to most of the Sidemen members, as they also quit their personal channels to focus on the one they all share. There isn't much else to say about this, so I'll wrap up the video. I will link the Misfits channel and their podcast in the description, as well as his main and second channel. Disclaimer, Fitz never said he's never coming back to YouTube, so for all we know, he's just taken another long break. He might surprise us with a video in a few years, we'll just have to wait and see. My name is Fitz, I've been freestyling since 96.